Welcome back to Drop the Box. Today we're going to be doing a DSG service on a Skoda Karak. So the first thing we need to do before we carry out the service is pull, lift the vehicle in the air and remove the under tray. Um, the under tray is held in by a couple of T25 screws and three T45 screws. So the service on this 7 speed DSG gearbox is slightly different from the 6 speed because it has got an extra drain plug there, which is for the Metatronics unit. So the first plug we're gonna pull out is this, this one at the end, and this is called the check plug, because that's where you check the fluid level from. And once that's strained, we're then gonna pull this plug out, which is for the me Mechatronics unit, and then we'll fill it back up. So this one first, and you're gonna need a 14 mil Allen for this. So now that the uh, main plug is out, you need to get an 8mm Allen and take out the plastic level bung, which is inside the hole. That's what that looks like. And leave that drain. So while that's just uh, finishing draining, we can take the second drain plug out for the Metatronics unit. For this you're going to need a 6mm Allen. And be very careful when you take this one out, because this one does like to gush everywhere. So the best way to do it is nice and slowly and keep the bung in the hole. as you drain it out and then it'll all go down your arm and run down to your elbow Now that that's finished draining, you can put the Metatronics plug back in. The torque setting for this is 10 Newton meters plus 45 degrees. So that's 10 Newton meters. And plus 45 degrees is about there next we need to put this level bung back in so you only really need to go hand tight with this once it's in but if you do want the torque setting for it it's three newton meters. So do with that what you will. But yeah, once it's snug, just give it a little nip with your only fingers, and that's more than enough. So to get access to the DSD filter, um, 
you can actually get it by reaching around the back of the engine. Before this video, um, I am going to take the battery out just so it's easier for me for one me to get to and for two for me to show it to you. So you probably could get away without taking the battery out, but it will give you a lot more room. So disconnect the battery negative first as always. And then there's a 13 mil down here, which holds the battery in the tray. So you can take that out as well. That's the clip holding the battery in. And with that out of the way, side forward. Lift the battery out. Now with the battery out of the way. It's still pretty hard to see. So that's the filter there. It's got a little heat shield on it. You can just see the tip of the filter there. To take this filter out, you're going to need a 24mm socket. Try and put some uh, oil absorbing rags and things down in and around the area because it will make a bit of a mess when we pull the filter out. The reassuring sound of oil gurgling away. You just know it's going to make one hell of a mess for me to clean up. Grab your new filter. <coughs> and again, let's install it in the reverse order locate it into the hole and push it in so it clips into place like that it's also worth noting that um, when you do buy your new filter element, uh, don't forget to order a seal with it as well. Because for some reason, a new filter doesn't come with a seal. So, I'm not too sure what the reasoning is behind that, but that's just stupid in my opinion. Once you've given the area a bit of clean, you can now refit the battery. Again, just in the reverse order of how you took it off. So the next thing we need to do is fill our gearbox back up. So this is the very expensive gearbox oil. And I've put it into this container here. Now what this does is we connect this end to an adapter and then that fits onto the gearbox. And then we pump, pump, pump away. 
and we pump all of the fluid back into the gearbox. Uh, now, to the manufacturer's specification, the gearbox should take between six and six and a half litres of oil. So, of course, we've had to buy seven. So now we've connected the adapter to the gearbox fill point and drain point. We can now connect our pump, open the valve, and now it's just in case of pumping the fluid up into the gearbox. Once you've finished pumping about six and a half litres of oil into the car, close the valve, move your little pump out of the way, and now we need to lower the car down and connect our scan tool to the car to get a gearbox temperature reading. We've connected our scan tool to the car, we need to go to select control module Go to Auto Trans. And then we need to select Advanced Measure Values. Now we need to search for temperature. So that's the gearbox fluid temperature. So the temperature reading that we need to do the gearbox oil level needs to be between 35 and 45 degrees C. So as you can see off the temperature reading there, that's perfect for us to set the oil. What we can do now is start the engine. And now we need to move the gear selector through the different positions and hold in each position for three seconds. So it's three in reverse, three in neutral, three in drive. And that just circulates the oil through the gearbox and gets it running all through the system. So now that we've done that, we can now go back underneath the vehicle and set the gearbox level. So once you've gone through the gear selections a few times, leave the car running, raise it back up and open this valve. And now this will allow any excess fluid to flow back into the pump and that's how you get your gearbox level. Once you see the oil start to slow coming through the pipe, you can remove the pipe and the adapter. And what you're going to be looking for now is a very small trickle of oil coming out of the gearbox. And then that will be your gearbox level set. So once there's a small trickle and a couple of drips coming out, it is safe to put the plug back in along with the new crush washer. And torque it to 45 Newton meters. Then you need to take the vehicle out on the road test and make sure it goes through all the gears nice and smoothly uh, before bringing it back and double checking one more time that there's no more leaks or you haven't forgotten anything. I hope you found the video helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And if there's anything that you'd like to see in the future, you know, please leave a comment and we'll see what we can do. Thanks again.